I'm Mike Tolliver for ICOC Hot News. We've traveled out to Long Beach, California for the 2011 International Youth and Family Conference. Youth and Family Ministry has been changing in the ICOC and a huge revival is taking place. This year, Lagos, Nigeria, Johannesburg, South Africa, the United Kingdom and Southeast Asia also held Youth and Family Conferences. We talked with Dave Pakta, who organized the conference here in Long Beach. Over the last number of years, we've really seen a significant change in our youth and family ministries. And one of the biggest changes now is we're not just working with teenagers, we're working more with families. Instead of sending the teens off to their own place in the church, we're pulling families together and teaching about communication, how to work through conflict, how to resolve sin, how to become a stronger spiritual family focused on the kingdom of God. But now we're seeing teens planning their own conferences, teens leading in worship services, Teens serving in all kinds of roles from working with the children's ministry to helping out with ushering. The teen events have been a huge highlight for our kids around the world. In the past, our teens would have been farmed out to the teen workers, but now families are getting involved with their own children, with the children of other family members. And in the first year that we started this, in one of the regions that I was involved in, we baptized more Kingdom kids that year than we had the two years previous. It makes a difference. We're just excited about so many things going on in New York. Uh, number one, we have about 65 baptized disciples. Three years ago, it was only like 20 disciples. We're also excited that uh, last fall we had a teen conference that was the first ever in the history of our movement, an all teen-led conference. Since that conference with all New England and New York and New Jersey churches, we've seen our kids really step it up in their worship, but also going back to their schools and trying to really win their friends over to Christ as well. In New England, a young man named David Hines, who was 16 years old, decided he wanted to lead his own Bible talk in his home. On a consistent basis, they had 20 teenagers out in his home as he led a Bible talk every week. So we went from one in all of New England, now we have five evangelistic teen Bible talks. Our goal is by the end of the year is to have 10. In the past three years, we've had 50 teen baptisms. And uh, it's been really exciting to see that these baptisms have been coming from uh, families studying the Bible with their teens and the youth and family ministry model really taking off. Uh, what's exciting about this is it's revived our campus ministries in San Diego. We've had many of our high school juniors and seniors graduate and then start campus ministries at the three big uh, colleges in San Diego, USD, San Diego State, and UC San Diego. The thing that I love the most about youth and family ministry is the way that we all get to be connected. Like, our kids grew up together in the kingdom, and I've known Sarah since she was 11 years old. And then I got to study the Bible with Sarah when she was 14 years old. And then Sarah studied the Bible with my daughter when she was 14 years old. And then our, my husband and Stacy's husband studied the Bible with her son. So youth and family ministry really connects us all over um, from our kids when they're young all the way till they grow up and the people that help them become Christians. Uh, we've seen incredible results as we focused on this over the last few years. One of the biggest things that's happened is seeing the next generation getting excited. We've had a lot of kids that have even grown up in our churches going into the full-time ministry, wanting to serve, taking the one-year challenge, going on the mission field to be evangelistic, help us build our campus ministries in places outside the United States and even inside the United States. We've seen Kingdom Kids go on church plantings wanting to make an impact. We've seen a lot of them coming into the ministry and some of them going on to get great jobs but being great contributors to our churches. It's encouraging to see what God is doing with our youth and family ministries around the world. Be praying for our teens and our families and we'll see you back at the website. God bless.